I'm Gloria from Gifts by Gloria, and I'm back here again at the Camelot Studio where we'll be making this beautiful children's Christmas stocking. To make this project, you're going to need the following items. Scissors, rotary cutter, marking pencils or pens, pins, embroidery thread if you want to embellish, and clips. The fabrics that I used are three skews from the Tattoo Parlor line, two of the fresh solids, and one from Mixology. Before we get started, I want to point out a few things about this beautiful project. If you want to embellish your Christmas stocking, you can add embroidery stitches. As you could see, I did that along all the seams. To kind of give it a different look, I used this sparkly embroidery thread, which really brings out the beauty of the stocking. And I added some little bells at the bottom, as you could see, to just give it a little punch. To start this project, you're going to be using this pattern. As you could see, I have numbers along each of the panels that I used. This pattern is a paper pieced pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach fabric one and fabric two first. These lines are the sewing lines. So I'm going to turn my paper over and I'm going to bend or fold the paper on the sewing line. So as you could see, this will be my first sewing line. I'm now going to place my fabrics. Now, when I place my fabrics, I'm working on the wrong side of my paper, of my pattern, but the right sides of the fabric are going to show as I'm sewing along, and I'm going to explain that to you. For number one, which is over here, I'm placing my first piece of fabric. I'm making sure that my fabric is going over the fold line. For piece number two, I'm going to put it right side together. So the right sides of the fabric are together. I'm once again going to fold it on that sewing line to make sure that I covered, I have enough fabric in the seam allowance to sew. I have enough fabric on this side. I have enough fabric on the second side. You could put a little pin in to hold it. And once again, okay, I folded it on the sewing line and now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew on this line. I'm going to backstitch when I begin and I'm going to backstitch when I finish that line. So here we go. So we're going to sew pieces one and two together. I'm going to backstitch when I begin and I'm going to backstitch when I end. So here we go. One second, I just got to get this going. Sorry, let me just backstitch and we're going to sew, we're sewing directly on the line. That is our sewing line. What I love about paper piecing is that you get perfect results. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to remove that pin and I have the seam allowance that's a little bit, um, could be trimmed down. So I could either use my rotary cutter or I can cut it with scissor. So as you could see, we have our sewing line here and I'm going to fold this paper backwards because I want to trim the seam allowance. There's just a little bit too much bulk. So I would say about maybe a quarter of an inch. It could be a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. And if you could see, I'm going to fold the paper back and when I fold this fabric back I have piece one and piece two then I take out my iron and I give it a press again I love steam because it really sets it in place perfectly now it doesn't look like much you're saying to yourself okay well okay two pieces of fabric that are joined as we keep continuing as we continue sewing along we're going to be sewing on each line. You're going to see this design take shape. So now we did one and two. We are now moving to two and three. So I'm going to turn it backwards again. I'm folding on the sew line between two and three. That marked line is the sewing line. Okay. 
So when I fold it backwards, I say, oh, look, there's my fold. Now what you could do is you could trim it down because there's a lot of excess here. So I, you could just take your scissors and just randomly just kind of cut it along there. And now, again, I'll just refold that so you can see the fold line. I'm going to join, I'm going to add another piece. So I'm just going to take this piece, fold it again. There's a lot of folding here, okay? Fold it again. And there is my sewing line. Now, I want to make sure that I'm covering, that I have enough fabric to go on to the right and enough fabric to go to the left. You could put a pin if you like. After many years of experience of sewing, I just kind of hold it in place. And then we're going to go back to the sewing machine and we are going to sew on the line between two and three. Back stitching at the beginning, back stitching at the end. So now we are ready to sew pieces two and three together. Again, I'm going to back stitch when I begin. And I'm going to back stitch when I end. I'm sewing directly on that drawn line. That is my sewing line. I'm just reminding you again, because we're as quilters, we're always used to that quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so that was piece number three. So we brought it back to the table. We sewed on one, between one and two, we sewed between two and three. Again, there's a lot of excess here. So I'm going to fold that paper backwards and I'm going to trim the seam allowance. <clears throat> I'm going to press it. And there we have piece number three. So you're going to continue sewing all the different fabrics along. We just finished with piece three. You're going to be sewing piece four, piece five, piece six, seven, eight, nine. When that's done, you're going to cut out the whole stocking along the drawn line and you are going to have this. Now we are ready to attach the back and the front of the Christmas stocking. So this is the front of my stocking. This is the back. I'm going to place right sides together. I'm going to pin. You could use pins. You could use these little hair clips that I'm a very big fan of. And we are going to go to the sewing machine to sew the two sides together. Now, again, we're going to be sewing along here, all the way around and up here. We need to leave this part open, obviously, to insert our lining and to obviously have an open Christmas stocking to stuff for the kids. So here we go. So now we are going to sew the top and the back together, right sides together, using a quarter inch seam allowance. We are going to back stitch when we begin, and we are going to back stitch when we meet the end. So here I go all the way around. We're being very careful around the curve. I like to lift and lower my presser foot so that I get a nice curve. It's a smooth curve. Okay, I'm gonna lift it again. Just make a little tiny adjustment to make sure that it doesn't look wonky or choppy. So I'm here, I'm coming to my end almost. Sewing to the end, and again, back stitching when you get to the end. Okay, so now I sewed all the way around. I back stitched at the front and I back stitched at the end. So now that we sewed all the way around, what's an important thing to do is to trim in this little nook over here and around the curves of the stocking. That way, when we turn it right side out, you're going to get a nicer, a nicer finish. So I like to make these little notches with my scissors, small little notches, so that when I turn them right side out, the curve, when we iron the curve, it will look, it will look smooth and have a very professional 
finish to it. So here I go. You could use pinking shears as well. Um, I always find that pinking shears dull quickly. So I prefer to use my, my sharp scissors. Okay, so we're almost at the end. So I, I cut some nooks over here. I cut some over here. And again, this, this little point here is where you're gonna run into trouble if you don't trim it. So I'm going to just lightly remove some of this bulk. Not cutting into that sewing line, being very careful. And now we are ready to turn it right side out. So I'm going to go over here and turn it right side out. And there you go. Just kind of smooth it out. And I'm going to take my iron and I'm going to press it. So there we go. So this outer stocking is ready, the top and the back. So now we're going to work on the lining. We have right sides together. I'm using the Camelot solid line for the lining and I'm going to pin them together. So basically it's a repeat of what I did with the outer portion of the stocking. I'm going to sew again. I'm going to start over here at the top. I'm going to backstitch, sew all the way around, 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 and I'm going to backstitch when I finish. And of course, leaving this open. So I went ahead and I sewed the lining together. I sewed all the way around. I stopped here. I'm leaving about a two and a half, three inch opening for turning purposes. So I'm sewing all the way along here. I'm stopping. And I'm starting again here, back stitching. So this little opening will be for the turning. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare the tab, the hanging tab that's going to go on this side over here before I show you how to assemble the stocking. Now we're ready to make our tab. So this is the hanging tab that's going to be at the top left corner of our Christmas stocking. So basically, the tab will look like this. Now I sewed using a contrasting thread so you could really see how I'm stitching along the edges. The measurement of this piece of fabric is two and a half inches by seven inches. Seven inches long, two and a half inches wide. What we're going to do is you need to press it first. So first we press it in half, just like so. And then when we open it up, we're going to turn the two raw edges inward to the center crease. Again, lots of steam, love steam. And then after that, we are going to close the piece of fabric so that the two folds meet. So this is what your piece will look like. And when you go to the sewing machine, you will see I sewed right along the edge, maybe an eighth of an inch on both sides to give it a nice finish. I would probably use red or green thread, but I wanted to make sure that you saw what the stitch line looks like. We're ready now to attach the hanging tab. I'm going to take my tab and I'm going to fold it in half. The two raw edges meet and I'm going to place it right over here on top of the right side of the stocking. And I'm going to give it a little base stitch with my machine just across here making sure not to sew the top and the back together. So now, as you could see, I basted that tab on top on the left side of the front of the Christmas stocking. Now I need to assemble the lining and the outer Christmas stocking together. So what I'm going to do is I still have my wrong side out. I'm going to put my outer stocking inside the lining so that the right sides are together. That's why I did not turn my Christmas lining, my Christmas stocking lining. I didn't turn it right side out yet. So as you could see, okay, 
all the raw edges are meeting. I have the raw edges here all the way around. Okay, we are going to have to sew all of this together, but before we sew it, we're going to pin it. Again, the right sides are together. We have the outside, the wrong side of the lining is on the outside right now. So I'm going to just pin those together, making sure all the raw edges meet. Now when I pin it, I usually like to match my seams on the sides of my Christmas stocking so that I, they're, it's perfectly centered, I should say. Again, these clips come in handy. I mean, you could use pins as well. So now we are ready to go to the machine. And so let me just clip that little one, put a little clip there. And we're going to sew all along the lip of that Christmas stocking top. All right, so we're back at the machine. We are now going to sew along the lip of the Christmas stocking. Now what I did was I removed part of my machine so that I could fit the opening of the Christmas stocking through the machine. So this way I will not sew on the uh, right through to the second layer behind it. So as you can see, I'm going to sew again a quarter of an inch all the way around. I'm removing the pins as I go along, making my adjustments. It's a little bit tight, but you can still manage it through the machine. Here I go. And when I meet my starting point, I am going to backstitch. Oops, that didn't work. So as you could see, I sewed all the way along. Now, how am I going to do this? This little opening is where I am going to now turn it right side out. So we're ready now to turn it right side out. I'm going to just quickly do this. Oops. Okay, so now, as you could see, I did turn it right side out. And there's still an opening here. So what I'll do is I'm going to repress that little opening. And that opening is going to be stitched down between my two fingers. I'm going to stitch it down an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to just quickly do that on the machine and I'm going to come back and show you how this whole Christmas stocking comes to be. So the stitch line is right there. I did it in white so you could see what it looks like, an eighth of an inch away from the edge. Now we are ready to put our stocking together. I'm just going to insert the lining into the stocking like that. Okay. So as you could see, I just gave it a little press and we have our beautiful Christmas stocking. I had so much fun making these Christmas stockings with you. Join me again at Camelot Studio where we make more fun things.